All right, Tyler Orton from Business of Vancouver back with us. Good morning, Tyler. Good morning, Steve. Uh, talking about a ruling for the BC Securities Commission. What's this about? Yeah, well, they ruled that a BC businessman, one uh, Rodney Warham, uh, he committed fraud over the last couple of years uh, through money that he raised from investors. He would take this money for this failed uh, development in Chilliwack. It was a golf course slash townhouse development. And he would use it for his own personal expenses. Essentially, he had raised about $9 million for this golf course endeavor. Only about half of that made it w its way to the developer before the developer went bankrupt. But then what he would do is he was president of about three different companies, and he would uh, take money from one company, deposit it into another company, and then immediately use that newly deposited money for his own personal expenses. Now, this included buying himself a home, buying his wife a grocery store, as well as jewelry for his wife. So the big issue here is the developer went bankrupt, and none of the money that uh, was given to uh, the companies that uh, Warham uh, was president of None of that money that he ended up taking from investors made it way back to investors. So they're out all these expenses that they paid for. And the other issue is, is that uh, the BCSC, the Securities Commission, they're going to uh, recommend sanctioning in March, but Warham has no criminal charges against him either. So at this point, so w without the Crown uh, laying any charges, th the worst that can happen is maybe he'll be uh, given a lifelong ban on uh, trading any securities in the future here in British Columbia. So all these investors are out money, and it's a lot of money. He uh, took about uh, $500,000 plus from them. So I don't know. They're all out their money, and there may not be any reparations uh, going forward at this point. All right. Thank you very much for that, Tyler.